Now let's use our score variable to track how many times a player has hit another player with a water balloon. Open up the water balloon script and let's start by keeping track of who threw the balloon. Let's create a new variable called my player and we'll set its type to player ID. Next, drag over the event when object is released by player and from the values tab, grab set to. Place the my player variable on the left and bring the green player pill down to the right. Great, so now we have saved the player ID of who threw the balloon. Now at the bottom of the win colliding with player event, from our values tab, bring over set player persistent variable. From the dropdown, select the score variable and on the operators tab, grab the plus symbol to replace the number value. From your values tab, grab a number input for the B slot and set it to one. Then at the top, grab get player persistent variable and place it in the A slot. We can select the score from the dropdown and fill in the empty player slots with my player from the variables tab. Now the player's score increases by one every time the balloon collides with a player. Sometimes the balloon will register hitting a player twice. We can create a Boolean variable named once per that prevents double counting. When object is released by player, bring over the set to code block, placing once per on the left and Boolean value true on the right. Then duplicate by selecting the whole set to code block and thumbstick to the right in the when colliding with player events. We can then set Boolean value to false. Now bring an if code block into the collision event. Then from the operators tab, grab the and code block, placing once per on the left and a not equals to symbol on the right. We can then check that a player collision is not with my player. Dragging the player pill to the left and the my player variable to the right. Then indent all of the collision events code blocks so that they will only go off one time. You might remember that when we throw the water balloon at a wall, we also receive a collision event with player, but the player value is server player. This should not increase a player's score. So to solve this, there is another great use of the if code block, which is to nest if statements, then duplicate the not equals code block. From values, replace my player with server player and then drag the set player variable into the new if code block, allowing for wall splashes, but preventing points for wall collision. To test our work from the values tab, grab debug print code block and place it inside the collision events if statement. Next, grab variable as string and duplicate the get player variable code block from above. Now in our build menu, on the script tab, we can see that when a player is hit by a balloon, the score of the thrower is increased. Nice work. Feel free to delete the debug print code block when you are done. And in the next section, we will create a scoreboard. 